thinking that I'm wondering just what the fans are liking about the show Better Horses. I know we love it and we love all the stuff that we can learn but I'm curious what they like so far that we're doing and also maybe we haven't done something that people want to learn about that we would find out from them. Yeah, we do appreciate our viewers and you know what more importantly our clinicians and our professional trainers also appreciate the feedback. They can check us out and get our email address on betterhorses.com. And they can also check us out on Facebook and follow us on Better Horses. We'd love that. Hello everyone, my name's Ed Adams. And I'm Susie Arbo. And welcome to this edition of Better Horses. We'll begin this show by riding down to the Almosa Ranch in Arizona as Ernie Rodina talks to legendary trainer Al Dunning, who's been a leader in the horse industry for over 40 years. Hey Susie, we get a welcome back to 310 Ranch Life. Now, these are professional roping cowboys as they're going to show us their roping techniques as they hold a branding clinic right here in Missouri. And finally, we're wrangling over to Weatherford, Oklahoma to visit with professional horse trainer Phil Haugen as he explains the way to hold the reins at the proper length on a horse. So if you love horses, you're going to love this program. So sit back and relax, and it's the only horse show on your local broadcast television station. Also airing on RFT TV and the Cowboy Channel. We'll be right back. Those of us who devote our lives to the animals we love can recall a kind of dawning. A time when something inside us awoke, like a seed planted deep within us and had taken root and begun to grow. That one seed set our course and determined who we would be, how we would live, we believe that purpose is what sets us apart and binds us all together. It's why our family built a company dedicated to supporting the animals we all care for and this lifestyle we share. Stanley Premium Western Forage, grown for the life we love. Hi folks, Ernie with Better Horses. We're in the cutting pen now, it's time, it's crunch time, and I'm here with the man, Al Dunning, and Al, we're stepping it up, aren't we? Yeah, we are, already. You know, so far we've talked about horsemanship, and we've worked the mechanical cow a little bit earlier with you, and you've done great. And uh, now, we're gonna really, uh, this is where the rubber meets the road right here. Well, we're just so glad to be here, and appreciate all you do, and and appreciate the folks at Better Horses for making this possible. Ed, Kelly, and everybody, just a lot of fun. Ernie, you got the heart of a lion, but let's go, let's go cut, okay? And let me tell you about this cutting. There's two things I want you to do. Make sure you stay in the saddle, keep a hold of that horn, and never take your eye off the cow. Right. You got that? Right. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and cut one first, and okay. then you just sit on the side here for a second, okay. and then, then you come and watch, then I'm gonna have you cut a cow, okay? Okay. Okay, so I'm going to ride into this herd right here, and uh, I'm going to pick out a cow, and I'm going to try to cut clean and get cut all by one cow by itself, Ernie. So these are our babysitters in here, and they kind of keep the cows in the center of the pen. I'm going to step over here, and I, I got this cow cut right here, and I'm going to step toward it, keep my hand up until I get the cow out of the herd properly. And when I get it out of the herd properly, I'm going to put my hand down on the neck like this. Then I'm going to have them move my cow. Then I'm going to cut like this, go this way, and wait. Stay right here, wait for my turn back people to come. And let her turn and go with this cow right here. Just like that. Try to stay in the middle. Notice how my eyes on that cow are running all the time. Okay, my eyes on that cow. That's what cutting's about right there. So you want to try it? I'll try it. Okay, Ernie. Hand on the horn, toes out, eye on the cow. Now, Ernie, with the, the things that he's going through physically, you know, he's got to really concentrate on his seat right here. But 
the number one thing when you're riding a cutting horse is you got to concentrate on watching the cow. Walk right into them. Now there's your separation right there. Now get in behind those cows and keep going, keep going, keep going. You got to go. Now put your hand on that cow. Keep your hand on that cow. Okay, now put your hand down. Okay, good. Now go with it. Put your, leave your hand down, Ernie. Leave your hand down. Keep going, Ernie. Kick a little bit. Catch up to that cow. Catch up. Don't lean, Ernie. Don't lean into the turn. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you, you keep your body behind it. It's the cow moves, then the horse moves, and then the rider reacts. Ernie, don't, you're not a reining horse, okay? Leave your hand down. Good. Go a little further. All right, good. Now quit right there. Whoa, I think you did good. How'd it do? 75. 75? Yeah, I think so too. That yeah. last cut was, felt pretty good. What did that feel like? It felt all in one motion. If, you, if you're in with the cow, and the cows, uh, you just stay with the cow and uh, trust your horse. That's an awful good horse, Ernie. Yeah. Um, you know, when you take a green rider and a green horse, you know, then you're in trouble, you know? So uh, green and green equal black and blue. <laughs> okay. And you didn't see too much daylight between my seat and I the I thought saddle. you sat really good. What I noticed, this horse here is a finished cutting horse. Yeah. And there's something about they're like driving a Mercedes. If, if you're sitting everything right and everything flows good, it's easy to, to do those big cuts if they're on their hind end and everything else. Well, you know, I'm proud of you for doing this, Ernie. Well. You've been my friend for a long time. Bucket list number one. I'm pretty excited for you. I think we got a lot done here today, and that was a super job right there. Well, I want to thank uh, my, my sponsor, Perine Animal Nutrition, for supporting this trip. Right here, man. And everything else. Great, great company. Great. You know, I'm fortunate to say for 35 and a half years, I had a job that I loved. And there's just a great bunch of people, a great company, and uh, just great to be here. I did it. Thank you. Thank you for being at the Almost Ranch, and God bless all you that watch Better Horses TV. We are having a blast here at the Almost Ranch down by Scottsdale, Arizona, with, at the Al Dunning Ranch. Just having a great time getting to do one of my bucket lists and ride with Al. It's just a tremendous opportunity. And I'm having my chauffeur, dear friend, Mark Burkdahl. A lot of you know him as Chef Tell Mark on the Better Horses TV show. I'm Uber this week. He's an Uber. He's my host and everything. And he loves horses, involved in horses, cattle operation, uh, and, and sponsored really this week by Bremel Farm Service in Garnett, Kansas. Yeah, thanks, Roger. Yeah, so I'm going to turn it over to you, Mark. Have a great time. This is a great horse. So glad you come down here and been with me and uh, uh and watch it out absolutely well thanks for the opportunity ernie this is this is going to be great chef tail mark at the almost a ranch hold on to the horn watch the cow keep your toes out the main thing is cut, get one separated all by itself go around to the right a little more so you go under your cows go to the right there you go now right it in there now wait till you get a cow separated and keep your hand on a particular cow Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Now separate your cows, now go. Keep going, 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 keep going. Now stop, put your hand down. Now you finally got your cow cut right. You don't lean out to your cow, you look like the leaning tower of Pisa. Right over there and go. Yeah, that one knows what it's doing. Right over here, a little further, a little further. Let the horse go, go. Use your legs on the cow side. Go, good. Don't lean in, okay, Marilyn? Wait. Oh, we got a little buck at him. Yeah. All right, Mark, let's quit right there. Good job, Mark. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good job, good thank job. You. Stay tuned, we'll be right back right after these messages.
It's time to go with United Mosquito and Fly Control's premier fly system for fly control in your barn. Providing relief for horses from the stress of fighting flies and also makes a barn more pleasant for everyone in the barn. Easy, effective, and safe. With United Mosquito and Fly Control, we provide a full service. You as the barn owner don't have to do anything. We go everywhere and take care of everything with our friendly, fast service. Call today at 913-558-3814 or email paul at unitedmosquito.com. The other day, Miss Debbie and I went to town, and when we leave the house, our dog Ginger at times will act out. Well, this time she found a sack of trash, and when we came back home, that trash was scattered all over the house. And the first comment out of Miss Debbie was, look at what your dog has done. Well, it reminded me of a story in the Bible in the, in the Old Testament with the nation of Israel, and they got themselves into a mess. And then they looked to the Lord and they said, see what God has done. It's our prayer here today at Better Horses that you too can look around you even when we're in a mess to stop and to see what God is doing in our lives. Stop and say, see what God has done. Hey, this is Steve Stafford. I'm the pastor of Risen Ranch Cowboy Church and a very proud member of the Better Horses family. I'm John Darnell with 310 Ranch Life. On this segment of Better Horses, we are in Missouri at the Santa Fe Ranch for their spring branding. Had a great time. Hope you enjoyed the video.
gosh. I'll put it in there. I'd rather be lucky than good any day, old buddy. Better Horses, raising your horse experience. When you're a barrel racer, there are so many things that can bother a horse. Just eliminating the back issues is a huge advantage. I feel like using a CSI saddle pad has given me an advantage over other girls because I know that my horse is feeling good, that saddle's not bothering him. If you're looking for a new saddle pad, invest in a CSI. It's worth the investment. Your buddy Ron once said he could install your ceiling fan. He couldn't. And that one time, Ron said another chili dog was a good idea? Yeah. It wasn't. So when Ron said you'd never afford a John Deere tractor, you knew better. Now, Ron does too. The E-Series. Legendary John Deere quality. Unexpected low price. Stop by and see Heritage Tractor at one of its nine locations for your John Deere and Featherlight trailer needs. HeritageTractor.com What do you get when you bring together one of the biggest names in veterinary medicine? with one of the most caring and committed teams of horse health experts in the industry, you get a vaccine portfolio known for its quality and safety. A pharmaceutical line you can rely on to help manage pain and support performance. You get the products, programs, and people of Merck Animal Health. Hey everybody, we wanna thank Better Horses TV for having us on this week. This week I'm going to cover a topic that's a question that we get asked a lot um, at our clinics and at our training facility and that is what is proper rain length? What is proper rain length? And 
you know that that's going to be a little bit different for everybody but this is what i would tell you so proper rain length is going to be determined by your body position okay so so at my clinics i always talk about field timing and balance when you're sitting in your saddle and you're comfortable and your hips are underneath you you know take your hands and just go like this just let your hands drop to a comfortable spot right in here okay so like when I do that like I'm sitting real comfortable and real balanced in my saddle right now so for me to be real comfortable and real balanced this is where I want my rain length somewhere right in here this is where you're the most comfortable this is where you're most balanced just think about this if your reins are a little too long okay and you have to pull your reins up to here just look what happens to my body position and I go from here to here whether you realize it or not you you start to get stiff from the balls of your feet all the way up to your shoulders and neck and and that's what I want to stay away from because Anytime I get stiff and unbalanced up here, okay, I'm not going to ride as smooth. I'm not going to be in motion with my horse, okay. When you're sat down and you're in good balance, and good balance is a product of good rein length. So just like right here, as I ride around, and I've got my hands right here, I'm real comfortable to where... I can control speed and direction. I can, I can turn my horse to the right. I can turn my horse to the left. I can drop my hands, sit down, push on my heels and stop. And my rein length is all gonna stay right here, okay? Now, everybody at some point during an event or while you're riding, you're gonna have to adjust your rein length to different situations. And that's, that, that's just a given. Okay, you're, you're not going to be able to just put your hands in one spot and they never move there. Um, I think that would be, uh, maybe there is somebody out there that can do it, but I can't. Okay, but I do think if you stay with that simple concept of sitting in your saddle, have weight on your stirrups, you know, have some pressure on your stirrups, your heels down, and just sit here with your shoulders squared up with your hips, let your hands find this comfortable spot here. Well, that's where my reins are comfortable because you're the most balanced when your hands, your elbows are in and your hands are in front of you, right here from the swells forward. I mean, I've heard guys talk about there's a box right here you want to keep your hands in and, and everybody has a little bit different um, opinion or preference and, and that's okay. The one thing though that is really important, be consistent, okay? If, if I was your horse, okay, if I was your horse, I wouldn't want my, your hands up here one time and down here the next time. I mean, that would be just, if I was your horse, I'd be going, okay, what does this mean? What does that mean? What does this mean? Sit, have your hands in a consistent position. And I always say, you know, with your rein length, if you can keep your hands down, you're gonna have your horse's head head down low hands low heads it you know it doesn't make any sense if if my reins are long and I get my hands lifted up to here what's going to happen is my horse's head's going to come up their back's going to hollow out okay when the horse's back hollows out they get front end loaded um, and that's all a result of poor or improper rein length okay have your hands to where you can keep your hands down, and that's going to enable the rest of your body to stay in position, okay? I hope that helps. That's a really common question. We get asked that a lot. Um, try that the next time you go ride your horse. Um, thanks again to Better Horses TV for having us on this week. We love coming on. Uh, we love your feedback. You can get a hold of us at uh, philhaugenhorsemanship.com on Facebook or Instagram, at Phil Haugen Horsemanship. Um, we appreciate you. Thank all of our followers. Um, have a great week of training, and God bless. Closed captioning has been brought to you by Lina Weaver and Flat Tail Ranch.
Those of us who devote our lives to the animals we love can recall a kind of dawning. A time when something inside us awoke, like a seed planted deep within us and it had taken root and begun to grow. And from that moment on, the path ahead was clear that one seed set our course and determined who we would be, how we would live, forever connected to the land. We found purpose in these remarkable creatures that depend on us. At Stanley Premium Western Forage, we believe that purpose is what sets us apart and binds us all together. It's why our family built a company dedicated to supporting, enriching, nourishing the animals we all care for and this lifestyle we share. Stanley Premium Western Forage, grown for the life we love. Hey, thank you for watching Better Horses. And if you miss any of our shows, check us out at betterhorses.com where you can see all our episodes. You can also follow us on Facebook or listen to any of our podcasts right from your mobile device. And don't forget our newspaper coming out five times a year. You're gonna love it. <laughs>